Welcome to 60 Day Juice Fast Part 2, or actually 60 Day Juice Fast 2. I'm Mark Clark, and we are on our day six. Day six, and things are going well. Um, you know, this is the second time around for my juice fasting, and the differences. I'll start off with the differences this time. Um, last time, I did something that I would recommend to anybody, and that is... Uh, I first took myself took myself off processed food. Then I did a 10-day cleanse. I did a 10-day cleanse. That cleanse basically was lemons, blackstrap molasses, apple cider vinegar, uh, cayenne pepper, and uh, and water, um, distilled water, and I drank that for 10 days and then I did a 60 day juice fast so I was much better prepared the first time and consequently I didn't have as many in the first three days I didn't have as many uh, you know my uh, side effects weren't that strong you know the first three days is tough the hunger pangs and everything you go through almost like uh, you know I imagine like uh, anybody that's uh, quitting cold turkey. Your body's like, yo, what's up? You know, where are the carbs at, son? Where's all my snacks? Where's all the negative food you normally feed me? So the body don't know what's going on. Metabolism slowing down. and It's like, are you starving? Hello? Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> then after the third day, you start to get it together. But this time was tough because I just did a cold turkey, baby. Came off vacation and whap. And I was not a good boy on vacation, okay? Um, the backstory for me was I did the 60-day juice fast. And then after that, people said, what are you going to do after that? Well, afterwards, um, I did, you know, I juiced and I ate basically uh, veggies and fruits for a while, for months. And, uh, you know, of course, then added some fish and, and took it slow uh, I did miss, and I was curious about the, uh, you know, I missed lifting. I missed uh, the feeling that kind of like um, in the gym resistance exercise feeling because I like to lift. So after I did the 60-day juice fast first time, after a couple months, I did almost the polar opposite, and I did the uh, almost the uh, paleo deal where you basically, you know, you do proteins and, you know, you do fruits, you do fruits, I mean, you do vegetables and you do kind of like uh, natural foods, you know, not processed, but, you know, so it's okay to have steak and, and, and I did, I had a lot of protein and I started lifting again and got that, uh, that feeling again. But of course I started bulking up, which I like to bulk up. See, I'm always caught in that. I like the feeling of having big arms, but I don't like the feeling of not fitting into clothes. <laughs> so uh, this time around, I wanted to, um, you know, juice again to reset and experiment with resistance training, uh, you know, because I couldn't really remember when I'm juicing if I had the right mentality or if I, if I feel weak. I really couldn't, honestly, I couldn't really f remember. So this time, that's what I'm really paying attention. I'm paying attention. And so on day six, I will say that the first three days was rough, rougher than it was the first time because my body was adjusting to, uh, you know, the fast. And I did not feel like doing much in the form of physical exercise in the first six days other than walking the dogs and, and doing some light walking and things like that. Um, you know, I don't feel like uh, bench pressing. But I will say yesterday, I started to get my swagger back, you know. And as that comes back and I experiment with um, my juices, focusing really on, I'm really trying to see with spinach and with kale, with the very dense green 
uh, vegetables that have a lot of protein, uh, you know, does that give me the needed feeling that I want? And I'm really, I'm really curious, actually, really curious. And I'm probably going to uh, next week uh, start doing some light resistance stuff, where I'm not, you know, not not crazy, but just just get a feel. And probably this time around, I will add uh, as I'll be working out more. Uh, I probably will add, um, you know. Uh, some almonds in there maybe and avocado for the the fat um but uh, all in all things are going well and uh you can follow me and uh i'll be posting all over the place and i'll be checking in also via speaker and of course you can reach me on twitter at mark clark at m-a-r-c-c-l-a-r-k-e and you can reach me via email at uh, Mark Clark, M A R C C L A R K E at Mac dot com. I'm on Facebook as Mark Clark. Plugology, Mark's Green Truck. You can go there, or you can also reach me at www dot the big fat show with me and Troy. All right, thanks for listening. And uh, so you know, today I, I rock the uh, zingy carrot. The zing was the ginger added, and it was delicious. And I'm also excited because I got some blueberries. That'll be tomorrow. And uh, I think I'm going to do blueberries, spinach, and pineapple. Experiment with that. And also, I got a watermelon. All right? Okay. Have a good one.